Hey there YouTube, this is Robert with another SolidWorks tutorial. I was asked to explain how I made those glasses on my uh, properties video and I thought I'd go over that with you. Uh, I've got a, kind of a mock version of it here. I recreated them so that I could make this demo and we're gonna kinda go through the steps here. Try to do this as, as quick and as simply as possible. So to start off I made a couple of sketches here. Um, there's two sketches there is the profile sketch, the front profile sketch, which is just, uh, in this case, it's just a straight line, but you could use a spline. And then this bottom part is also a spline and a straight line. And then I just mirrored those across. Um, and then there is the top profile of the part, which is that. So I made those two sketches, and then you can use what's called this uh, projected curve projected curve so you select two sketches and it will project the one sketch onto the other and you'll get the result is the yellow there so you get a curve and I took that curve and I did a uh, let me hide those again and I did just a surface fill this right here filled surface and SolidWorks gave me this really nice even uh, flat surface here really nice we took that surface fill and we're gonna do some stuff with it here um, the next thing that I did is I cut out the space for the lenses again I just did a sketch on the front plane drew in what I wanted to have removed and used a split line and what split line does let me turn um, uh, shaded edges turned on is it splits the face to a separate entity now in SolidWorks when you're working with surfaces what you can do is you can right click and go here to delete face this is a not the same thing as the delete button and delete face you're just removing the f uh, you're removing the face it adds actually adds a feature to the feature tree so it doesn't remove it until that point um, and that's what I do here and that just cuts those out so now we have a surface that looks pretty much like glasses. Again, I did this really quick, so it's not very aesthetically pleasing. Um, and then I wanted to duplicate that, and you could use like an offset surface, um, but then that might um, blow it out normal in every direction. So instead, what I did was a linear pattern. I made a second instance of the same body. If you want to look at the settings for that, that's just um, I used the line from the uh, the mirror in my first sketch here, uh, this guy here, you can see this center line that I used to mirror the profile uh, is also the direction line for the linear pattern. I uh, did a pattern and I added the face, or I mean I, I, um, I patterned the body, so now I've got two of them. And then the rest is just sort of like patching it up, I mean that's really the hard part. I uh, did a couple of surface lofts. The first surface loft, I did the closed loop surrounding this entire frame on both of those surfaces and lofted it between so you can see it's hollow in the middle. And then for my second loft, I closed in the inside faces of this part of the frame, inside faces of this part of the frame. Now in real glasses modeling you would have a trough cut into this and I didn't do that in my model. Uh, but you'd want something in there, a ridge of some kind to actually hold the lenses in. And then I did a surface knit. Now the nice thing about knit surfaces, we, we've got all these, they're all touching. It just took all the surfaces, pushed them together, and then I made sure to check this box here, try to form a solid. If you have a closed volume of surfaces and you knit them together, you'll be given the option to form a solid. So we form this solid here, now it's a solid body, and we can do anything we want with it. If we want to, we can make fillets, we can make cuts, we can extrude off of it. Um, yeah, and that's basically how I made those glasses um, might have varied a little bit. Here, here's the actual model. Let's go to my Dropbox here. There it is. Goofing off glasses. Here's the actual model. And the method for making it was a little bit different only because it was um, 
really, really difficult, but you can still see, you can see I did surface fill, split line, delete face. And then in this one I use boundary surfaces to patch up some holes. Um, basically this line ends up being straight up and down normally and I wanted it to flare out. So I had to delete out some, uh, or split the faces here and delete them out. Uh, and then rebuild them using some 3D sketches. And you can see that it's all, they're all referencing that sketch. Um, like I said, it's a bit more complicated. The thing with surfaces in general is, is that you have to just do what looks good. You gotta play with the options. If something doesn't work the way you think it ought to, try something different. Uh, there's a lot of different surfaces and they tend to all kind of do the same thing. Um, but just slightly different. Sometimes your result will be different. So just play with the options. I can't really give you any, any better advice than that. Just play with the buttons until you get what you want. And, uh, and that's how I made these glasses frames. This has been Robert with SolidWorks Tutorials. If you have any questions or if you want me to make anything else, uh, let me know. I'm happy to, to take your challenges if you want me to do that or if you just have questions about how parts of SolidWorks uh, work or you want to learn more, uh, let me know. You can leave those in the comments below or you can email me directly, mudrock1221 at gmail.com. You can uh, like me on Facebook and send me a message there. Or you can follow me on Twitter and send me those messages directly that way. Uh, whatever you want to do. This has been Robert Murdoch. Have a nice day.